that brings us to 7.53 at KNEB. It's time for today's News Extra program and brought to you by Gehring Civic Center. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. It's May 1st. That means it's not only May Day, but it's also Foster Care Awareness Month in May. And we have Misty Youngquist and Alicia Kuklish from the Department of Health and Human Services, and they work with uh, foster care parents and in the foster care program. They're going to tell us the significance of this month. So, uh, Alicia, why is it so important that, that we have foster care parents here in this community? Well, Kevin, about 100 years ago, the uses of um, orphanages in the United States um, changed over to the foster care system. And it's a very important role um, to serve our families and children that are, uh, that are in need. And Foster Care Month is a way for us to recognize them and also recruit new foster parents and foster families for our community here in the Panhandle. All right. Now we have uh, how many foster care parents, families right now? Um, about 92. 92. That's quite a few, isn't it? For uh, Well, that's for the entire panhandle, correct? Yes, from Shadron Alliance to Ogallala. All right. And then, of course, Scottsbluff County. When you look here. at our population, is that does that seem like a lot for the population we have in western Nebraska? We could actually use more foster <clears throat> parents yeah. um, because every child is unique, and we always want to find families that meet the needs of our children. And so sometimes finding that perfect family is challenging. So we want to make sure we have more than enough um, foster parents. All right. Uh, what are the three goals you got right here? I'm looking at your cheat sheet here. You got three goals of foster care. What are the three goals? Well, there's three goals when any child becomes a state ward, um, safety, permanency, and well-being. And while they're in foster care, we really want to reduce trauma and make sure they're not re-traumatized. Um, we want to make sure their placements are stable so they're not moving around a lot. And that's what we do as resource developers. We support our foster families and make sure they have everything they need to meet the needs of the children that they're caring for. And we also want to make sure that um, kids are quickly reunified with their parents or they have a permanent placement through adoption or guardianship so they're not lingering in the system. All right. So uh, if, if uh, folks want to become uh, a foster parent, how do they do that? They can call 1-800-7-PARENT, and that is run um, by NFAPA, the National, um, I'm sorry, Nebraska Foster and Adoptive Parent Association. They go through what's called an inquiry process. They fill out um, some paperwork for us. We do background checks, um, fingerprints. Then they go through um, pre-service training, uh, classes on how to become a foster parent, mm -hmm. what they can expect. Yeah. And then we do a home study and... Um, to just tag on to what Alicia said, this training, the fingerprint process, the background, that is all free to the foster parent or right. potential foster okay. parent. We're not going to charge them for any of that. Yeah. All right. We're going to support them through the entire process. They'll be able to call us. They'll have home visits before it starts. We'll be doing paperwork. And then the other piece that is so important is when you decide to open your home to a child, it's a big commitment, and it's a commitment that we want to have stable. We want you to say, yes, I'm going to take this child through good, bad, and indifferent. I'm going to stand by this placement because when we – to have placement stability, the child needs to stay in the home. Yeah. And right. then to reduce trauma, the child needs to stay in the home. And then to get that child back to their family just as quick as possible, we need to be able to say, we've done our job as foster parents, the parents have done their piece, and we're going to reunify. Okay. Very good. We'll take a break, talk about a couple of things uh, that are going on, especially a big picnic here in the month of May, right after this. The next generation of virtual meetings is arriving at the Civic Center. Boost your productivity by meeting with multiple locations at one time and have less travel expense. With the Polycom video system, you work visually in HD, allowing a rich learning experience. With no freezing of picture and a great sound system, your speaker can be off-site and have human interaction. Call 436-6888 or visit www.gearingciviccenter.com. The Gearing Civic Center, true inspiration. We are back on News Extra. It's Foster Care Awareness Month. Misty Youngquist and Alicia Kuklish from the Department of Health and Human Services are here to talk about Foster Care Awareness Month. Now, 
Misty, you have a, a big picnic coming up at the end of the month. Tell us about that. Yes, we are kicking off the month here to say, hey, we need foster parents and thank you. And then we are going to wrap up the month with a fun event, including hot dogs and cookies and cakes and a bounce house. We're a really, bounce house from yeah. uh, the folks at Planet Bounce, right? Yes, and supported by Oregon Trail plumbing and heating they also help contribute to that cost yeah and you have a lot of other people that are that have contributed to this as well right we do we've had some fantastic help from godfathers um mitchell market um we're talking to co-op so we're pretty sure they're going to be on board um mike's husker has contributed for our gift basket magic theaters pizza hut taco john's um Debs Flicks and U.S. Bank have all contributed to our baskets. And then, again, um, Godfathers and uh, CASA, yeah. our court-appointed right. special advocates, they are doing right. a cake for our event, all so right, we very, very much appreciate them. This is all to recognize all the foster parents at the end of the month, May yes. 31st. We want all of our foster parents to come, bring the children, bring your children, bring your foster children. Let's just have a big party to celebrate it and if they have a friend that wants to be a foster parent bring them too come on down all right the uh, the uh, place to be determined right yeah yep places to be determined our foster parents can call us and get more information we will be mailing all of our foster parents invitations with the location and time all right very good now if people real quick before we get back to den here if people want to be a foster parent you mentioned uh the, let's mention that number again is there a local number where they can actually talk to somebody locally here they can always call the local resource development office right at the 10th street in gearing okay what's that phone number 308-436-6500 Four three six sixty five hundred, and they just talk to one of you folks. Just tell them at the front desk. May I talk to someone about foster care, and they'll get us on the line. We'll All be right. glad to visit with them. All right, very good. That's how you do it. Sometimes it takes a few times to tell you to have it sink in, but uh, if you're interested in being a foster care parent, there you go. That's the number to call four three six sixty five hundred. We appreciate Misty and Alicia coming in today. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us.